Hey, Brian. Hello there, sir. It's nice to see your whole face. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yes, I shaved. In this episode, we learn of the killer or killers of Michael Desiato's wife. And what did that bring him? It, it didn't bring him any solace or comfort at all. It was just information. Well, I think episode seven in particular is very interesting because Charlie, we have pieced him together for seven episodes, and now I think he's starting to crumble again right before our eyes. You didn't connect those dots. And now his only real friend in the world is no longer his friend. I'm sorry, Michael. Me too. He's depleted. It's the loneliness and vulnerability of loss, of despair. Having just been on the bus, he finds Fia and her child on his doorstep, and I think it's the realization that there is something left to live for. Often in this season, it's the really small things that say a lot. You see that little movement in Michael's face. It's a very subtle shift, but it says that he understands what he's being called to do. It's really an honest depiction, as we see it, of how these group of characters are, number one, affected by the tragedy that happened a year ago, and number two, how they move on from where they are. I find it fascinating. Miss me? The next episode takes a leap. We delve into the personal lives of different characters, the power struggles that are going on. Let's go meet the neighbors. It's compelling to see where that's gonna go.